Hey guys, Constance here. Welcome back to A Good Life Farm. Um, it's been a busy weekend. I mean, you know, Saturday was Shabbat, so it was a rest day. But Friday, I was out here working all day long. Uh, this morning, I was out here working like a maniac. Uh, this afternoon, I had a potluck that I went to up in Athens. And uh, I'm looking around and looking at what am I going to work on next. And, you know, I've talked about how we're kind of reworking the garden. How um, my original in-ground garden area, I was going to turn that into a chicken area. But then we just started letting the chickens run loose. And I decided I will convert that into just simply a, like, low-maintenance garden area. Um, I'm going to grow things like corn, sweet potatoes, stuff that doesn't take a lot of work and needs a lot of space. Squash, all those things. Um, and then out here, this is the area that we're turning into the new garden area. And I started, <laughs> I started putting together some raised beds and as you can see, I've already got a jungle growing up in between them. Not in them, but in between them. And I kind of paused what I was doing because I had an idea. Um, they make this stuff that's kind of, it's kind of like landscaping fabric, but it's not landscaping fabric. It is heavy duty. It is made for gardening, farming specifically, like market gardens. And I kind of paused because I had an idea. I ordered two gigantic rolls of that fabric. And what I'm going to do before, before I do any more with these raised beds, these future raised beds, I am going to lay down a whole bunch of that fabric. I'm going to take those new raised beds, I'm going to put them on top of the fabric. Then I'll refill them and all of that. And after I fill the raised beds, I'm going to mulch the walkways. That way I don't have to worry about mowing in between the raised beds. I don't have to worry about weed eating them. Um, I want to make this as low maintenance as possible for the long run. So that is the revised plan. Still got to do the fencing. We still haven't gotten around to that. We've just been, you know, I took a year off of gardening to work on other things and uh, the fall garden is going to be here in no time. And there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done. Um, stuff in the house that I'm in the middle of working on. Stuff out here that I'm in the middle of working on. Um, but just goes to show, even taking a year off, the project list on the homestead never ends. It never ends. If anything, it gets longer. You just keep finding new things that you need to do. <laughs> um, yes, so I, I already got the fabric. Uh, that came from Growers Solution. Um, I have ordered, I've ordered several things from them. That's where I got my drip line system and all of that um, very, very great resource for finding stuff um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm still gonna have there's still gonna be a big wide gate that way I can drive straight in with the tractor or the truck or whatever I need to, to bring in and yes and then this morning one of the things that I was working on was cleaning out thoroughly cleaning out the donkey and uh, mule shelter and so I brought all of the manure and the bedding and all that down here and I just dumped it right here load after load after load and as you can see the chickens have already kind of spread it out a whole bunch which is fine because this area is going to be a big in-ground bed that was been the plan all along 
um, and so I've just been kind of feeding this area so that the soil gets nice and rich that way I can plant things uh, right here and so the fact that the chickens are spreading all that out kind of works for me and that's why I put that there so they can help me out um, and then the, all of that manure and straw can just break down and enrich this area and this future garden bed. So yeah, that is the revised plan for this area. Um, you know, I have all the fencing, I have the gates, I've got everything that I need to <laughs> fence this area in. I just, I just need the opportunity to do so. You know, we had such a wet, wet winter. We had mud everywhere, so we were kind of waiting for things to warm up and dry out. And it went from muddy to concrete. This ground is currently so incredibly hard. Um, thankfully, I've already got all of my fence posts up for the fencing. I just have to run the fencing. Uh, the only posts that still need to go in is just where I'm going to put a gate. It's just right over there at the corner. I'm gonna put in a gate so that I can come out my back door and then walk straight over here to the garden area. Um, and then we're gonna put another one up at the very front of the house so that we come out the front door and then walk into the garden area from there as well. So there's two gates that still do still need to go in, um, but yeah, like I said, the to-do list is always growing, always growing. And you're always coming up with new ideas or how you want to do your plan B or your plan C or your next revision. And sometimes that revision happens before you've even gotten anywhere near it. So yeah, all of that mess over there, I don't wanna have to weed eat and mow or anything like that in those spaces. And so before I go any further, we're gonna put down that fabric and then I'll get um, a couple loads of mulch delivered and mulch the area. Just, you know, thinking of the long term, um, you know, I just, I don't wanna make any more work than necessary down the road. And I think that that would be a wise decision. Initial investment with the mulch and stuff, but in the long run, I think it'll be really worth it. So that is it. Just a super quick update tonight. Um, again, this week um, I'm, I'm having surgery on Friday. And so I don't know what next week's video schedule is going to look like. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see how my recovery goes. Um, I appreciate all the prayers for my daughter. I appreciate every one of the donations for the fundraiser that we have going for her. Um, a little update on that situation. So my daughter works for the city. She's a 911 operator. Her husband works for the city. And the person who caused the accident also works for the city and their lawyer is concerned because the fact that the person who caused the accident and hit my daughter works for the city and because they all work for the city there may be some sort of conflict and it may cause an issue with getting things taken care of um, her bills um, her it's just it's a nightmare and it's like just when you think you've got a handle on things there's another blow that's dealt um so i just i appreciate all you guys the prayers the donations it, it really means a lot every little bit that's donated to her um is just a little bit less that they're gonna have to worry about um it's hard. I mean, it's hard when they live so far away and you want to be able to help. And, you know, my daughter has suffered, suffered a lot of disasters, to be quite honest. Uh, this is her third car accident, the worst by far. Um, every one of the accidents caused by other people. 
um, a few years ago, her house flooded, was completely underwater from a hurricane. Um, it's just, it's a lot. And you, you hate to see your kids going through things, but you know, the Lord has brought her through. She's still alive. Um, and for that, we are, for that I'm grateful. Um, but yeah, so it's just, you don't want to see your kids go through things and you want to be able to fix them. You want to fix the problems, but you know, sometimes things are just out of your control. So you pray and you do what you can and you know, you just got to put it in the Lord's hands. And so, but in any case, I will go ahead and wrap this up. So thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me here again for a little bit at a good life farm. I will talk to you next time.